שלום, good evening. I would like to talk about the su- a subject that we talk about all the time. Uh, we talk about this a lot in the last uh, one and a half year. Still, I want to make like a conclusion and make it short. The second coming of Jesus. You sure? In the book of the New Testament, it is like a farm story that is the secret of the fig tree. He want to eat the fig tree and, and the food is not ready and he curse the fig tree. This is exactly the story of Jesus. He appeared to Am Israel as something that is a fruit that is not ready to eat, it's like something too young. Raw. Yeah, not really, uh, right. uh, you know, too naive, too, with not enough vessel of Torah, and we know, f- and with not any salvation from the real problem that Am Israel have in this time against the Rome. So, Am Israel uh, decided that this cannot be Mashiach and he was giving away to the nation and came from this Christianity that killed millions of Jews. So, the curse of Jesus that such a thing, horrible f- thing came from him. Alright, so exactly like Jesus curse the fig tree, Jewish curse Jesus. Now, but in the end of the story, they ask him when will be the second coming, what he will say. He will say that when the fig tree will be ready, it's a sign that the summer is closed. But Summer in Hebrew, kites is like the same letter of cats, what it's in the end of the day. So, when the fig tree will be ready, it's the time for the second coming. Now, the question is, what is the fig tree? So it is another story that will prove us, by Jesus himself, what he means when he said the fig tree. By the point of view of Judaism, the fig tree is a tree of knowledge, good and evil. And before we eat, we eat the fig tree, we are naked. What is a fig tree? It's a Torah, of course. In the second coming, the tree of knowledge, good and evil, it means the revealed part of the side of the Torah must to be connected to the hiding side of the Torah, like the soul of the Torah, which is the tree of life. We call the Torah the tree of life. In the moment the tree of knowledge, good and evil, is connected to the tree of life, the good and evil become butter and honey, like it's mentioned in the story about the birth of Emmanuel. So Jesus, in the first coming, he was above the Torah, First coming. first coming. Emmanuel, before he got to the knowledge of difference between good and evil, before he ate butter and honey, all the land wa- was left. This is the first coming of Jesus. And this prophecy was given to, to Ahaz to fix his sin that he, he asked help from Ashur against against the ten tribe, so Ashur came and destroyed the nation of the ten tribe. The, we call it the tree of Yosef, the tree of Yosef he called Yeshu, Jesus. It's interesting. It's like, it's like he came from the same place, spiritually. So like Jesus said, he said, I have other sheep beside your guys in another place and I will give my life to this other sheep. And of course, he talked about the ten tribes that was lost in another place. And he was giving away so, to the nation, so 
זה, זה tent rap that was lost in Europe, through Christianity will come back in the end of the time to Am Israel. All right, so this is, by the way, the reason why, why this prophecy was given to Ahaz, that in this prophecy represents the father of Mashiach, the, the Almaz, the, the virgin is one, one of his wife, and is, is the 26th generation from Avraham, it means he represents the father Yud Kevavke. Yud Kevavke plus Miriam equal Yeshu equal Jesus. All right, so this is a, a, a first coming that Jesus didn't eat yet the tree of knowledge, good and evil, is above the Torah, like Paulo says that you are, not under, you are not under the end of the Torah, you are under, under the end of the grace. And it's why Yeshu, Jesus equal Arum, naked. So like we said, In the New Testament, it is a proof that when Jesus talked about the fig tree, he talked about, about the two of knowledge, good and evil. What is a proof? He's going to meet Nathanael, his sixth disciple, and he will say, well, this guy is a real uh, Israeli that don't know what is a lie. And then Nathanael asked, how you know me? He said, well, I know you, I saw you before when you was under the fig tree. Now, who was under the fig tree? The snake. Under the tree of knowledge, good and evil. And still, you are not a liar. Now we understand why he said this to Nathanael. Now, if... Netanel is a snake, he's supposed to represent the tribe of Dan in his disciple. So let's check. He starts by Shimon. There are two orders of the tribe. It's the order of birth and it's the order of flag. In the order of birth, starting by Shimon, Shimon Levi, Yehuda, Issachar, Zvulun, Dan. Dan is the sixth one. In the order of flag, Shimon is the fifth one. After Shimon is God, after Ephraim and Ashe, Binyamin, Dan. Again, in the two order, Dan is the sixth one, it means Naphtali. In the two order, is for sure represent the tribe of Dan. Still, is not a liar. All right, so he belongs to the two of knowledge, good and evil, to the snake. And by the way, the letter Ayn of Yeshua is a letter of the snake, of the tribe of Dan. The Dan, the name Dan, don't appear in the New Testament. All right, so it's, a, it's, a, it's important to understand why we don't call him Yeshua in the first coming, because we are not yet fixing really the snake, the physical, the Caesar. And that's why he was not received by the Jew, because he's above the Torah. And to fix the snakes and to fix the physical, this is something that only with the Torah you can do. All right, so we have this free story. It's like a frame of all Christianity that when the fruit is not ready, it has to be cursed, the way the Jewish curse Jesus. In the moment the fruit is ready, the curse himself becomes a blessing. So really, the way the course Jesus, he march more, his name will be erased, all the secret of Mashiach hiding in this curse. This is the name of my book, he march more. We can see that the, the four first letter here is the letter of Mashiach. So even when we curse him, it, we, we call him Mashiach, all right? So all the secret of Mashiach hiding in the three letters, and by the way, is the secret of the Ark of Noah. This three letter equal Chen, Noah. What is the secret of the Ark of Noah? It will say that the second coming is like the Dove Noah too, right? So, the same concept. All right, so, when will be the second coming? You know that the book of Matthew in Hebrew is Matai. 
what it means when. So they ask him in chapter 24 when will be the second coming. In the book of when, that is of Matai, the book of time, there are 28 chapters that parallel to the 28th time in the book of Kohelet. I used to say Kohelet in English. There are 28 time. It's time to give birth. The first chapter, Avram gave birth to Yitzhak, Yitzhak gave birth to Yaakov, etc. It's, it's time to die. All those kill all the children in Bethlehem in the second chapter, etc. It's parallel. Chapter 24, it's time to talk. We can talk about Jesus now. When we can talk about Jesus, if we have Torah vessel, that even the course become a blessing, if in the moment we have this kind of vessel of Torah, that all the concepts of Christianity that are just light, just, are just point, the Trinity. What is the Trinity? What we do with this? The cross, the body and the blood of Mashiach. All right, so there are four points in Christianity that in the moment is not in vessel of Torah, we cannot talk about Jesus because it's a naked truth. If you see a naked one, Yeshu equal a room naked. 360. If you see a naked one, cover him. We cannot talk about this. But cover him, it means put clothing like the leaves of the tena of the fig tree. Cover your naked, you the, the naked one. Cover him. It means build vessel of Torah. In the moment you build vessel of Torah. Then you can talk about this to Jew with no harm, with no problem. And then you can make a plan exactly how we bring back Jesus to Am Israel from the first door, from the first from the main gate, not as a mission of stalling soul. We can bring him back legally to all the Jewish people. The main gate. From the main gate. Alright, so this what can happen now in the moment that we have already the fig tree is ready and the Ark of Noach is ready too. All right, so everybody will go to the Ark. The Ark in Hebrew it means a word. Everybody will go to the word of Torah, especially to a special word what have to do with this curse, that all the secret of Mashiach hiding there is the secret of the rapture. People just learn Torah. It's all. And this is the second coming that everybody that left in the land will eat butter and honey. Everybody. Not only the Jew, the nation too. Thank you.